My name is Siobhan Mao. I'm in seventh grade and I made this project. It's the information storage pro program. Uh, my goal was to make an information storage program that can pro provide a platform that stores people's information. Some of the features in my design include storing first names, last names, birth dates, social security numbers, and more. Um, program. I use an array to store up to 10 people, and for each person, they have another array that stores many pieces of information like last names and first names. I also use a function called strcamp to compare two characters so the program can find people with their last names. The strcamp function will return zero if the two characters are equal. I tested my program about 80 times. One of the problems I faced was when trying to compare the user input and username and the correct username, I wasn't able to compare the two with an operator. I solved the problem by changing both to characters and using the strcamp function. I would make my program better by adding delete function if I had more time. Demo time. So here, as you can see, before I can do anything, it asks me for my username and password. So I have to make sure only the me can enter the program. So I'm going to put in the username and password. Now I can create a new person. Um, so we're going to create a John Smith, and there just some. They're born on, I guess, June 15, 1999. And their social security number will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And now we have a few other options there. We can create a, another person. We can search for information. Or we can also update our current information. So what I'm going to do here is I will update this person's information. So let's say. Um, if they decided to change their yeah. first name, we can change their, we can first of all, we can search for which person we want to update. So search for his last name, Smith. Now I have all the information of Smith. Now ask us to update, if we want to update, uh, we put in one, which is yes. So we input his new first name, which we're going to change him to Bob, Bob Smith. And maybe he wants to change his uh, birthday as well, so we're going to change him to uh, like June the 1st. And everything else stays the same. So now we uh, have successfully updated the information of Bob. Now we can search for him. So pretending we have 10 people in here and we want to find a certain person, we can first we have the option of searching by their last name. We put in their last name, which is Smith. Um, now it gives us all the information of uh, this Bob Smith, which his birthday, birthday, and his social security number as well. Uh, another way to search is we can search by their social security number in case you don't know their last name. We know that his social security number is what we created, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now. It gives us Bob Smith, which is the person we are looking for, with his social security number as well. Um, now I've showed you all the programs, functions of this program. We can exit the, exit the program by pressing 4. And then exit out. Uh, thank you for listening. Any questions? This is a bit more. Yes. Can you add somebody's credit card number? Uh, no, cannot. What was the hardest part of making this project? I think the hardest part was uh, probably just like, getting everything set up. The, um, you have an array that stores the people's all the information of one person, and you have 10 people. It's just like the initial part of getting the information in this part. Any other cool. questions? questions? All right, give them a round of applause. Thank you.